A society to have order and to protect its citizens must have rules. Rules or laws are created and agencies are formed to enforce the rules. In the United States, you are innocent until proven guilty. Our judicial system, our courts, have the task of determining guilt. When guilt is found, the courts meet out the consequences. If we follow the rules of our society, we may never have to face the bar of justice inside a criminal courtroom. Join us now as we see an actual Lake County court in session. Good morning, everyone. I'm Judge Miller. Could all of you, including the visitors we have in the room, please raise your right hands. Do all the way, right hand, all the way. Do each of you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and this you do under the pains and penalty of perjury? Yes. Thank you. You can put your hands down. Each of you has a right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. When you get to the microphone, please let me know if you're under 18. Please let me know if you're not a citizen of the United States. If you're not a citizen of the United States, entering a plea today could affect your immigration status. Please let me know if you're on probation or parole, because if you plead today, it could affect your probation or parole status. If you plead today, you're giving up your right to have a trial and have an attorney represent you at the trial. Today we're being tape recorded, that's what the blue light means, and videotaped. Uh, if I sentence you on a criminal case, you need to go to room 105 and either sign up for the payment plan or pay it in full. The least that can be is $273. That is in addition to whatever we sentence you to here in the courtroom. All right, we're going to start with in custody, Michael Gunnell. Gunnell or Gunnell? Gunnell. Okay, Mr. Gunnell, we have a bunch of issues for you. Let's see. You have a new driving while license suspended, a new DUI. Uh, were you on a motorcycle? Uh, no motorcycle endorsement. And you already were had been sentenced or a driving while suspended, yes. And no motorcycle endorsement. I was almost done paying on that. You have the new charges, so if you weren't in jail, you'd be going to jail. So let's see if you how much jail time you've done. And in addition, you have a new speeding ticket. You just wanted to go back to jail, right? I uh, state, did you take into consideration? All three of his new charges and the violation of his suspended sentence? Yes, Your Honor. Um, the defendant, if I say, believes he has 20 days credit. Um, at this time, the state offers, in a, uh, for count one driver um, under the influence, adjudication of guilt, 12 months probation. The defendant can early terminate probation after paying a $1,000 fine. There's a 12 months driver license suspension. Excuse me, is this a first DUI? Yes, Your Honor, it will be 180 days. Um, over uh, 0.15 or under, or it's a refusal? Imper impairment only. Is I'm sorry? Impairment only is a refusal. So you decided 1000 Okay, $1,000 fine, 12 months probation, early term or no early term? Early term. After six months? After six months. All right. Um, he hasn't said yes yet. Are you going to plead today? Or are you going to ask for the public defender? Is that credit for time served? Um, you will get credit for time served on part of it. We'll right. go over those details in just a moment. All right. I think he's going to plead. All right. Let's start with the, before you finish, let's start with the easier one. I put you on a suspended sentence for driving while license suspended and no motorcycle endorsement. You paid your fines. The only way you violated is with these new charges. Uh, it was a 29-day, it's a very low suspended sentence, 29 days suspended upon your completing everything. You did everything you were supposed to do, but you had the new law violation. So I'm going to change this to nine days because you paid all the money. The only thing you, you violated was the new law violation. So let me sign this. So no matter what you say today, you're staying in jail for nine more days from today. All right, so that's on 
the suspended sentence. Now your new charges are the DUI and the, the new driving while license suspended and um, I need that sheet back and he had a no motor no endorsement no motorcycle endorsement again thank you ma'am if you get three driving while license suspended or DUIs within a five-year period Tallahassee will habitualize you you have the last driving while license suspended you have today's driving while license suspended and you have the DUI now Sometimes Tallahassee does not suspend if the incidents happen at the same time. But my experience has been that if it's two different kinds of charges, they will count both. If you had two DUIs at the same time, they would only count it as one. But I think you will be habitualized if you plead today. You'll lose your license, which you've never had for five years. You'll lose your ability to get a license for five years. You may be eligible for a work permit in a year. A year. That's between you and the Department of Motor Vehicles, but you will not be eligible for a year. Um, because you'll be habitualized. So do you want to plea today, or do you want to maintain your not guilty plea and talk to an attorney? I'd rather just plead now. All right. Um, Go ahead and you ready? So the first count was the DUI. So as to the DUI, he would enter a no contest plea. We'd find him guilty. We'd sentence him to 12 months probation. I believe you said early term after six months. $1,000 fine. Um, DUI school and any recommended, DUI school, alcohol evaluation, any recommended treatment, victim awareness program, 50 hours of community service. May he buy them out if he wishes? Yes, Your Honor. He can buy community service out if he wishes. And no um, alcohol. Consume no alcohol or illegal substances while you're on probation. Yes, Your Honor. And as to count two and count three. That, that was all for count one? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. In count two and count three, the state offers adjudication and credit time served. Good idea. So on the other two counts, it's time served. You, you've done So it's nine more days in jail from today. And then you're on probation for a year unless you complete the conditions, and then it would be six months. Since I've been uh, in custody, ma'am, my, my wife has moved to Orange County. Is there any way we can change that probation? May transfer probation to Orange County. But I can tell you that um, everyone I've ever talked to who was offered uh, probation in Lake or Orange prefers to keep it in Lake, even if you have to get a ride here to probation because it's, it's in a good location and the probation officers are really nice. And I'm told in Orlando it's in a very... Um, We're right on the border of Orange and Lake County. Okay, I'm just suggesting that when you see the location in Orange County and how busy it is, um, you may wish to keep it here. But that's your call. Every person I've ever talked to who looked at Orange County's probation office and looked at ours said, never mind, I'll get a ride. No, we did not put that on the record. Your driver's license will be suspended for 12 months, and there'll be 10 days immobilization. We left that out. What's the immobilization? Um, they put a bar on your steering wheel of the car you were driving when you got stopped. Whose car was that? motorcycle with my wife's and I believe she's she's in the process of selling it because of this <laughs> well if she sells it bring that proof to probation and they'll work with you on that okie okay. dokie okay, okay. so and then when you get out of jail you have to go to room 105 and sign up for the payment plan and it's a lot it needs to be printed right now thank you any other questions whoops wait a minute we have Another charge, the speeding ticket. If you enter a no contest plea to the speeding ticket, I would withhold points because you've never had a speeding ticket before in Florida. Um, and I'll let the jail time pay for the speeding ticket. Uh, yes. No contest, withhold, and time served. It will be on your record so you can never say you, nev you haven't had a speeding ticket after this. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. No more driving. All right, have a seat. Norma Jenny Lopez Martinez. Do you speak English? Yeah. 
Okay. Well, it's good that you speak English. It's bad that you don't have a driver's license, and this is your second time getting caught driving without one. It's jail time. Yes, ma'am. Um, I do have a driver's license now. Could I see that, please? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you can do the weekend work program if you're healthy. You healthy? Yeah, I'm healthy. <laughs> How old are you? 19. So why didn't you get a license a long time ago? I, I didn't finish school, so I, was, I wasn't able to read and understand all the things that were on the computer. And I, would, I was always nervous and like, oh, I was like, I can't do it. I can't do it until I got pulled over again because I was coming back from the hospital. And I was like, no, I have to study. I, I know I can do it, you know. And I went. You did it? Yeah, I and did And you're it. able to read now? <laughs> yeah. That's wonderful. How did you teach yourself to read? Well, I mean, I started hang I started I went back to school and I learned um like more stuff. Okay. <laughs> it's always jail time, but I'm so overwhelmed with the achievements she has. I'm not going to make you go to jail. Okay? I may if you stayed here all day, I don't think you see another person I don't send to jail who gets caught a second time driving on no license. But did you, you went back to school. Are you in school now? Or um, well, I had to stop again since I'm the only one providing for the household. So why don't you get your GED? Um, I'm working on that. I have to go to Lake Tech to see when I can, like, enroll. All right. I'm going to put you on six months probation. You can get off probation with proof of a GED. If you don't get a GED, that violates your probation, and then we're looking at jail again. Yes, ma'am. All right, you're present. Um, you're going to plead no contest. Mm -hmm. I'm going to find you guilty of driving with no license. I put you on six months probation. You can get off of probation after you complete. Must provide proof of GED. <coughs> You're going to report to probation now, and you only have six months, so you need to start immediately. Yes, because if you don't have your GED in six months, you're looking at jail. Okay. But I was going to send you to jail right <laughs> now. Yeah. And so I'm giving you another chance to get your life in order. Thank you. All right. We'll get to your paperwork in just a moment. Good luck getting your GED. Um, next we have Charles... Clay Witter? Yes. Say it again. Claw Witter. Claw Witter. Sorry I mispronounced it. Mr. Claw Witter, you are charged with driving while license suspended. Um, How is it going with your child support now? Um, actually, I have a receipt here that I, I went yesterday and made a payment. Do uh, you have a valid driver's license now? I still owe a, a DMV fee to get my license uh, reinstated. If I give you a month? Absolutely. Okay, are you missing work to be here? No, I'm unemployed right now. How come you're unemployed? I had left a job in, in December. Uh, so child support's not going to reduce your payments if you left. I, I have funds. Uh, Ma'am, at, at the time I, I got pulled over, uh, I had made a payment. I made it through the mail, and I didn't understand that they require you to go to their office before they will stop the proceedings for the... Um, for the driver's license uh, suspension. I did not know that. State, if he comes in with a, this is Mr. Charles? Clawwitter. Clawwitter. If he comes in with a valid driver's license, are you willing to change it to a civil? Yes, Your Honor, that was one of the offices. today. Okay, um, I'm gonna ask Miss Angie to write it up in such a way that if you get your valid driver's license, you don't have to come back in here and wait on me. You can take care of it at the traffic window. It will be a civil driving while license suspended and a withhold. So it won't count as one of the three to habitualize you, and it's way cheaper. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, with proof of a valid driver's license. But if you don't have the proof, he's back in here in a month. I have it in a week. Okay. Could I have Donald Iverson, please? Mr. Iverson, let's see what we've got going today. You have a driving while license suspended and a failure to yield. This is definitely jail time. Your license has been suspended for 10 years for DUI. The only happy thing I can say is that this doesn't involve alcohol. But you're not allowed to drive unless you get a business permit. 
Why didn't you try to get a business permit? I attempted it once a while back, but I, I couldn't see the, I didn't think I had the funds enough to handle it. Well, if you didn't have the funds to handle that, how do you have the funds to handle this? Well, I, I really, you know, I really don't. I messed up. All right, state, um, how much jail are you wanting in? The number could be up to a year? Your Honor, at this time the state is asking for 10 days in the Lake County Jail. No, it won't, that's too, that, not when you're suspended for 10 years. Um, although I'd prefer more, if he pleads today, I'll accept 15. Okay. If you don't plead today, I'm going to... I won't accept anything less than at least a month in jail. But if you plead today, um, it will be 15 days. You can say not guilty and talk to an attorney, but after today, even that 15 days is gone. So could you make a note that it needs to be at least a month? Yes, Your Honor, and a mandatory cost added to cost of investigation. So, your choice today is you accept 15 days. Uh, you can turn yourself in now, or we can have a turn-in date. Or you can say not guilty. If you, since your funds are an issue, I can appoint the public defender. But if you're found guilty, um, it's going to be way more than the 15. You need a moment to think about it. Have a seat at the table. I'll do the next person while you're thinking, and then we'll bring you back up. Anthony Trasino to the microphone, please. What? It's Trevino. T R E V I N O. V? Yeah. Okay, we have it spelled wrong, so let me. Thank you for telling me. And I'm uh, currently on probation right now. Uh, felony, misdemeanor? Felony. In what county? Uh, Marion County. Okay. You need to say not guilty and talk to an attorney because pleading to this will violate your felony probation in Marion County. But it didn't happen. It happened before I started probation. Oh, okay. Um, Mr. Trevino, how far did you get in school? I'm still in school. What grade? Senior. How old are you? 19. Why do you keep getting in so much trouble? As smart as you are, as good as your people skills are, you said you're 19 now? Yes, ma'am. Why do you keep getting in trouble? You have so much potential. Hanging out with the wrong people, I guess. But it sounds to me like you may be the wrong people and they're hanging out with you. Um, what do you plan to do when you graduate? Do you plan to graduate? Yes, ma'am. And what do you plan to do when you graduate? I plan to become a mechanic. Um, so you're going to go to Lake Tech? Yes, ma'am. Okay. That would be a good thing. All right, so we don't have to worry about the Marion County felony because he... Um, Your Honor, the state shows that he was placed on probation on February 22nd, which is the same day of the offense. This offense happened December 12th. Okay. Today's marijuana charge happened 12-12-12. Oh, okay. Who invited the officer into your home? No one. So My door, the door was slightly cracked open, so they just walked in. And who do you stay with? My parents. So your parents may have invited them into your home. You're saying the officer just walked right into your house? Yes, ma'am. All right, so you're going to say not guilty and talk to an attorney? I don't have money for an attorney. Public Defender's $250, and you can make payments on it. That's what you want? Yes, so. Do you want to plead to the marijuana charge? And we'll sentence you today on the marijuana charge. That's going to cost at least $300 in mandatories, plus a fine. It would be a $200 fine? $200 fine. And probation's going to cost you $55 a month. So... E any which way you go, it's expensive. Uh, I'll go with the uh, plea. You're going to plead today mm -hmm. instead of talking to a public defender, even though you're telling me that the officer came into your house without permission. In America, officers aren't allowed to come into the house unless they have permission or unless it falls into certain categories. Like if your house is on fire, they can come in and save you, that kind of thing. 
then I'll go with the public defender. But the, there will be a $250 charge. I know. That. That's what we're going with? Yes, ma'am. All right, you're present. You're pleading not guilty, and I'm appointing the public defender. And you better not get in any more trouble between now. What was the felony in Marion County? Transmission of harmful material to a minor. Transmission of harmful material to a minor, like drugs. Something else. Okay, we'll leave that for another day. There you go. Can I have Cameron Fink, please? Mr. Fink, um, you are charged with driving while license suspended. Mm -hmm. um, I can't quite tell what's going on here. You had a license in another state? Yes, ma'am. What's I uh, got a valid for license. And I said, have you moved to Florida or you go back and forth? I'm here. I'm getting married now uh, next month. And I'm you're down here live? visiting, yes. But and I couldn't get a I my license was valid and I couldn't get an ID card because I'd have to drive all the way back to Kentucky to get it. Okay, one thing at a time. You were living in Kentucky, mm -hmm. you had a Kentucky license. Was the Kentucky license valid? Yes, as of the twenty eighth of February. When you got stopped for this ticket, you had a valid Kentucky license. Yes, I had. I was suspended out of an old ticket that I had in New York. So then it wasn't valid. It was suspended. But I have a paper saying it was lifted on the 28th. You were stopped on March 8th. Once it's lifted, you have to go reinstate. So maybe that's where the... Oh, uh, maybe. I, has, I also have my Kentucky driver's driving record okay, as well. Okay, stop for just a moment. You're overwhelming me Sorry. with information. Let me try again now. Mm -hmm. You had a license you believed was valid in Kentucky. Yes. You got a ticket in New York that would have suspended you, but you took care of it and got this letter which says you're not suspended for the ticket in New York. Correct. Now, then you came to Florida mm -hmm. to visit with your fiance, mm -hmm. but you hadn't moved here permanently. Correct. And do you plan to go somewhere else after you get married? No. You're going to stay in Florida now. Yes. So because you're going to stay in Florida, you went and got a Florida driver's license. Correct. The fact that they let you get a Florida driver's license means you have no suspensions anywhere. Correct. Right. At the time you got stopped in March, how long had you been in Florida? Not very long. Okay. So that... On the day you were stopped for this ticket, which was March the 8th, mm -hmm. you hadn't taken care of the suspension yet, so you were still suspended out of New York. No, the suspension was lifted on February 28th. Case disposed on February 28th. So you believed you were legal to drive? Yes. Okay, New stop! York. Okay. <laughs> okay, state, this is very convoluted. I think if I had been in his shoes, I may have thought I could drive also, given this letter, given a valid Kentucky license, knowing I was only visiting in Florida. Um, may we dismiss it or announce no information? Your Honor, the defendant had another civil duelist on January 17 out of Sunter County. So this you are will just be the bearer of bad news. Your Honor, this will be five days in the Lake County Jail. Could you hand this back to him, please? You got stopped in January. The officer told you you're suspended. Yes. Then you drove again in March before you got my, it fixed. I sold my car at the time. I paid off the tickets. Um, New York forgot to email a clearance letter to Kentucky, which is why I pulled my driving record. All right, from let me Kentucky. see if I've got this. Okay. So when you got stopped in Sumter, yes. that gave you a heads up, mm -hmm. and that's why you contacted New York and got that letter. Yes, I paid my fines. Did you pay the driving while license suspended ticket in, in Sumter? Sumter? Yes, I did. It was the day right after I got pulled over. All right, so that counts as one towards habitualizing you because you probably didn't go to school to get the points off. No. You get three driving while license suspended in five years, and you can be habitualized. Okay. All right, so he got the one in Sumter, found out he had the suspension in New York, mm -hmm. and then he gets the clearance in New York in February, and they said... That letter is different from Florida. Florida says you have to take this to the DMV. That letter says this takes care of it. Use this to drive. Mm -hmm. well, can I see it, Yona? Sure. 
I, I'm going to go on with the next person while she takes a moment to look that over. So could you have a seat, please? Yes. Uh, Mr. Fink, you handle yourself very nicely. Thank you. This is a frustrating situation. Kind and of you've, yes. <laughs> you've kept your cool very nicely. All right. Um, we were going to go back to Mr. Iverson. You need another minute, or did you decide what you want to do? I'll take the plea, Your Honor. Are you going to turn yourself in today? I'd like to try to make some arrangements with work up there. Calendar to, right in front of you. Yeah, I don't know which would be the date. I mean, I'd like to talk with work if any way possible, but I... You can turn yourself in a week from today? Does that give you enough time? Could I, could I do it at the end of April? No, it's too far away. I'll give you two weeks. Two weeks? There's a calendar right in front of you. Yeah, two weeks. Today's the 27th. Today is Wednesday, so two weeks from today. That would be fine, Your Honor. I, uh, uh, Ms. Angie, this is Mr. Iverson. He's pleading no contest to a driving while license suspended. I've explained you get three in a five-year period. You get habitualized. In his case, he's already been revoked for 10 years, but he would be eligible. You'll be eligible for a full-blown license in two more years. Yes, Your Honor. If you don't get in any more trouble and if you take care of all your old stuff. The stuff now here. You refused to take a breath test in 2005, and you had some DUI stuff in 2005. So you have to finish the conditions from your third DUI. I did complete all of my... Okay. Um, then you should be eligible for a driver's license in two years. Yes, Your Honor. Unless you get something else between now and then. All right, it's 15 days to begin two weeks from today. April 10th. Thank you. You also had a failure to yield. Oh, very good. We're going to do a suspended sentence. I'm sentencing you to six months in jail, which is what I think it should have been in the first place. 180 days suspended. If you don't turn yourself in on that Wednesday, two weeks from today, yes. and the sheriff has to come get you, it will be to do six months. Yes, Your Honor. All right. I think that's a reasonable amount of time given your history to start with. So that 15 days is a bargain. Okay, so the bargain's yours, but if you don't turn yourself in, it will be the 180 I would have wanted in the first place. Now you also have a failure to yield and there was a crash? Yes, Your Honor. Did anybody get hurt? No. Well, you're lucky because if somebody got hurt, I don't understand why this isn't a felony court. Okay, because this is only his first Willis? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, failure to yield. If you enter a no contest plea, I would find you guilty and your jail time will pay the $166 ticket. Yes? yes? Your Honor. All right, um, he needs to be printed. Oh, I don't have that file. Did you get arrested for this? Yes, you get credit for any time you've already done. So if you did two days in jail before, you get credit for it. Your Honor, the um, state is ready for Mr. Fink. Mr. Fink, come on up. Um, given that letter that, <coughs> given that letter that he has, and given. Um, I was suggesting we should drop it, or is the state willing to do so? Yes, Your Honor. Um, the defendant paid the ticket, and his um, driver's um, privileges were reinstated on February 28th out of Kentucky. He did not get the letter until March, or it was not dated until March 11th. His ticket was on March 8th, so at that time he had not, he didn't have proof. He had proof, but he didn't have it with him. So at this time, the state would announce no information. Thank you for looking all of that over. All right, we'll get you your paperwork in just a moment. Okay, thank you.